Our Christmas trip to Idaho didn't go quite as planned. A fractured ankle prevented us from returning to Mexico and to Chuft. After consulting with an orthopedic surgeon in Idaho, we decided the best course of action was to head east to recover at Jim's parents' house. I left Idaho with a splint and strict instructions not to use the leg. Flying was actually easier than we expected. The airlines put us in comfort seating and wheeled me around the airports. The first stop after arriving on the East Coast was visiting another orthopaedic surgeon for further x-rays and to determine if surgery would be needed to recover. So yeah, good news. I have a blue cast. Um, I went to the orthopaedic surgeon again yesterday here in New Jersey, a different, um, a different surgeon, but he was really, really good. He's an ankle and foot specialist, so um, really knew, you know, all about my injury and um, he said more or less that in an ideal world surgery would be great because it would give us the best guarantee that my fracture would stay in the same spot but he said it's so well aligned that even if they did surgery all they would do is put a screw straight in they wouldn't even open it up and try and align it any better it would just be putting a screw in but um, when I kind of explained to him about the insurance and that I'd go back to Australia if I needed surgery, if he thought that was the best option, he basically said that he couldn't look me in the eye and tell me to fly all the way back to Australia to get surgery and that he th felt that the cast would would do it. I go back in four weeks to get the cast removed, re-x-ray, and hopefully everything's healed properly. And then I'm in a boot for four weeks after that, but I can start walking. Shortly after we arrived, we got called in for an emergency bird rescue. A young robin had been found unable to fly and needed veterinary attention. Yeah, and if you try and kind of corner him and throw the towel on, it's usually the best bet, but easier said than done in a yard. Nice. Well, that wasn't so hard. You got a bit of liquid in your lung. This is sometimes the easiest way to get their feathers out of the way. Well, my suspicion is he's just um, run into something with his face or been knocked into something with his face because mm. his breathing sounds mostly like it's in his throat rather than his lungs. Mm. And with his eye all shut up, he's probably hit his head and made his mouth bleed. Is your ears bleeding, my little man? It's his little ear. <laughs> Just making sure he didn't have any blood in them, but they look good. Okay. And open this back up one more time. Should try shine the light in there a bit. Can you see him now? <laughs> What's he doing? He's just looking. We made him a little bird home and it seems like he's probably just been concussed. So he already looks a lot better. So if any luck, we'll be able to release him pretty quickly. He is for sure trying to escape though. Jim just had to go catch him because he flew a little bit. So that's good though. How's that eye? Oh, good. It's a bit more open. Open enough that he'll be able to fly without any worries. Yeah, so the fact that he's just trying to like kamikaze his way out of this box means he's ready for release. Um, his one eye that was closed yesterday is now almost completely open. He's still squinting a little bit, but he's looking at me with both eyes, which means he, he's visual out of it, which is good. Um, and he's just so ready to get out of here. and. With birds like this, sometimes you can do kind of more damage having them for a long period of time, like trying to force feed them or force them to drink and things, because that's when they can choke or inhale water. Um, and I, he doesn't, he hasn't eaten yet by himself in here. So um, I think the sooner we get him released, the better. So yeah, thankfully it looks like he really did just have a concussion and 24 hours later he's back to normal, which is good news. 
Um, and the bleeding in his mouth was probably just um, from whatever damage he did from hitting his head, but it doesn't, he's not really bleeding now and his breathing's normal. So I think it was just upper respiratory. So all in all goodness for little bird friend, for little Robin. You gonna fly? Oh, he's gonna just run. Right. Not as dramatic when he doesn't fly. <laughs> yeah, he's behind the bush in the corner there. I'm gonna go. Yeah. Oh, there he goes. Around 10 days after we arrived, a massive blizzard hit the island. I had strict instructions to be extremely careful with my ankle. Any excess activity, in particular accidental weight bearing, could shift my fracture and result in surgery being the only option. With the gnarly, slippery conditions outside, I was housebound for over four days. taking me for a walk. His mum um, found me some wheels so that I can get out of the house. And we're gonna go see how the bay looks. Yeah, we've been keeping kind of busy as much as I can. Um, I haven't been outside for a few days because of the thunder, snow, hurricane, bomb, blizzard that we had. Uh, but now the snow's melted enough that I can get outside. Um, in other news, I've been doing some Spanish classes. I've been doing some veterinary classes. I've been writing some presentations for vet students. Um, and I also helped write a disease outbreak protocol for one of the rescue centers we work with because they had a outbreak of distemper so we sat down and wrote up a big thing for them and they've been um, implementing that um, yeah so we've been busy which is kind of nice but you got two weeks to go until I get the cast off and then four weeks in a boot so we're getting close now I tried to stay as active as possible while not using my leg, which involved hours of YouTube wheelchair exercises. Jim also kept me sane with regular walks outside. <laughs> so 
So I've been trying to keep busy with computer work as well. So I've been working on my party animal videos. All right, today's the day. We're on our way to the doctor. And if it all has gone to plan, I will be able to get my cast off. Whee! I'm still chuffed after four weeks in the cast, but I'm very excited to get moving again. A huge thank you to all of our supporters who've stuck by us. We know this wasn't part of the plan, but we will be back on board soon sailing and saving animals. Until next time, stay chuffed everybody.